Welcome to day two. And today we're doing monkey shoulder. Of course, of course monkey shoulder ended up on this one. And we're doing it with, oh, okay. We're doing it with, uh, this is William Grant and Sons does the monkey shoulder portfolio. And I don't know if you remember, but I reached out to a bunch of the big brands and said, could you introduce me to a rep who reps your whiskey? I think more of us need to know who the reps are who are repping the whiskey. Uh, one, because they go underappreciated and they're working their asses off usually. And two, because uh, following those people on social media can often give you insight and access into events that they don't announce to the public um, that you might be able to try some new and interesting things. And I think William Grant & Sons is one of those brands that truly understands uh, reps and their place in the community. Um, they do a good job of education. They prioritize uh, events that let people truly experience things and not just sales numbers. And I think that's really cool. Now, I didn't get a reply back from uh, this one, but uh, according to my recent conversations, Vance Henderson was recently the rep for Monkey Shoulder um, for our part of the U.S. And I don't know if he still is, um, but I think you can find him on LinkedIn. And uh, if he's still doing Monkey Shoulder, see if you can follow him, Vance Henderson. Now, let's talk Monkey Shoulder and music. You ready? Now, see, immediately I get that malty, musty, um, grain-heavy, slightly, uh, th there's a, I don't know if you know this, but in the new make of all pure malt whiskey, of 100% malt, there's often this sort of sickly, sweet, musty note, almost a funk. It leans to sour, but doesn't quite achieve truly sour unless something's wrong. And this one has all of that, but it's got this kernel of honey that goes right through the middle. And it's very sweet, but it's malt musty heavy. This is... Mm. Oh, see? This is a string section. That's what this is. This is a string quartet. <laughs> so, I don't know if you know this, in, um, uh, one of my favorite things that and I love listening to, I listen to classical music a lot, and it's because I can't play it at all, and, uh, but I appreciate it as a musician and melodically, and it's one of the few categories of music that I can listen to, and because I don't understand how to play it, uh, I can turn my brain off and simply enjoy it and experience it instead of analyze it. So I listen to classical music a lot. And when you get the real string heavy, um, this one is, this one's like Vivaldi, right? Like the original Vivaldi where it's like really string heavy, but um, it's light and uplifting and, and not necessarily the dark, not like Adagio for strings and Samuel Barber where it's like, oh, heartbreaking and heart wrenching. Um, it's this beautiful string section heavy mids, slight lows, but the lowest you get is cello, and you don't get some really high. The highest you get is a, is a violin, which is not really high, even though it has high notes. It's still this, like, uh, mellow middle note. And that's what I get with the monkey shoulder. It exists almost entirely in the mid-range. No huge lows and no big highs. You do get a little bit of, like, a floral freshness to it, but... You have to deal with the fact that you are living in a malt, musty, slightly sour direction of that big space-side malty notes. And uh, if you're not a fan of that, then you're not going to dig monkey shoulder. Uh, I've heard some people say there's a sour note to it. Most of those people I've heard say that uh, prefer bourbons. And so I totally agree that you're going to find that dominant if you're not used to it in a malt. But I, th I just think monkey shoulder is an easy drinker, and I know we talk about it. Maybe too much, but there's a reason it keeps showing up on every list. Now that I'm letting it sit, it comes back to a more of a hard candy note. Now I'm using this whole advent calendar. I'm going to try to use uh, music analogies to explain what I'm drinking because... 
Uh, that's actually how I experience whiskey first in my head before I start trying to verbalize it to other people. I experience whiskey in this, for some reason, it pings all the same parts of my brain that listening to music uh, hits. And so my first experience with the whiskey, my brain defaults to music language. And I'm going to say this a couple of times so that after the first three or four episodes, you'll know why I keep doing this. But if you're new to the Advent, I'm using music because that's how my brain processes this first. And then I always have to translate it to whiskey words um, as I've built my palate up with that. All right. Now, the goal with these is to keep them short and sweet, to kind of enjoy a little moment together, just a little sip of whiskey as we continue through uh, the month of December and head towards Christmas or Festivus. Happy Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> and uh, just take a little pause. Uh, I don't really do pauses enough. Um, as those around me can attest, I'm very bad at taking a break instead of trying to get things uh, accomplished anytime I'm not moving. I feel slightly like I should be doing something. And so uh, for me, these videos are a chance. Now you may notice I'm going to batch shoot probably three or four at a time. So you may see a chunk of three or four where I have a different jacket. It's kind of cold. I've still got the black v-neck. Don't worry. Um, uh, I'll, I'll batch shoot these in chunks. And uh, so that we can get them all up and they're going to be in multiple places where you can see them. Um, but this is a chance for me to kind of take a break and just relax with some whiskey and uh, and talk to you guys. I I'm going to try to be interacting uh, with the link to this video in the Facebook group where it's posted. I, um, I probably won't interact as much with the Reddit links uh, or Instagram, but I'll try to interact with the YouTube comments and with the Facebook posts. So... That's day two of the Whiskey Tribe sourced advent calendar, where the Whiskey Tribe itself created a list of whiskeys that we then ordered into our own advent calendar, easily accessible whiskeys. Until tomorrow, may your crazy say this side of legal, and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. <laughs>